What's up guys, Retin Arts here from Aatrox Studios. Today I'm just going to bring a tutorial on space flares. Here's the final product. So let's get started. Alright. Okay. Go into File, New, and go 1440 pixels by 900. And hit OK. Alright, now make the background black and double click the background layer. Now double click it again to go into blending styles and go gradient overlay. Now make a radio and make sure it's from black to white center and make opacity 50%. Now what you're going to do is you're going to drag it to the top like that and hit OK. Now create a new layer and paint it white. Now go into Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. Now make sure it's RGB lights for the mode. And make sure negative is 60 and narrow is 96. Now you should get that. Now set the Blend Mode to Overlay. And now go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur make it 80 pixels. Now go create a new layer and just paint it black. Now go to filter, noise, add noise. Now go 10% for amount, Gaussian for distribution, and check monochromatic. Now Change the blend mode to screen. And you should get something like this. I go image, adjustments, and go levels. And change it to 65, 1.0, and 99. Now create another new layer. And go to filter, render, clouds and set that blend mode to overlay. Now go into layer styles, so double click the layer and go gradient overlay. Now change the blend mode to overlay and choose a gradient with four colors. So in this case this one. Now change the first color to a cyan color Change the second one to a dark green color. Change the next one to a bright yellow. And change the last one to a bright red. Okay, now you've done that. Make the angle 130 and scale, keep it at 100. Okay, you're done that. Hit OK. Okay, now create a new layer, but it has to be above the background layer. So right there. So it should be the second bottom one. Now fill it with the color black. Now go into Filter, Render, Lens Flare. Choose the 105mm Prime and 100% for brightness. Now set it around that area. Okay, now hit OK. You should get this effect. Alright, now create another new layer and select your rectangular mark cube tool. And just go from the bottom left corner to about half of the height, like so. And let go. Okay, now grab your brush tool and make it about 800 pixels, 0% hardness. And now you are gonna maybe darken it once and then change it to white, to a white foreground color. And then you're just going to brighten it. So do a few clicks of that and you should get a nice bright kind of smoky ray kind of thing like that. Now it's all just about
positioning and resizing and getting the shape you kind of want. So the shape I wanted was an X. So I'm just I just sized up and tilted, reshaped, resized, and just created the X kind of space flare I wanted. And that's all you really have to do. Now I'm just gonna speed up my making of the X. All right. Now what you want to do is set all those ray layers, those flare layers, to the blend mode screen. And this will just brighten up the kind of flare center. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, so right there, you saw it brightened up and also right here. So it really brightens up the whole um, X flare kind of motion. Now what we can do is just move all these layers except for the noise layer which were supposed to be stars to the right and just add your own text. Now the text that I am going to be using is Devil Breeze and the font size is about 150 pixels and that really is it guys so I hope you enjoyed this effect and like, subscribe, comment, all those help, and hope you enjoy.